Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today on my channel, we are doing something a little bit different. We are doing a test it out Tuesday of the Home Chef food delivery service. They do have a range of different ways you can do this. And so I'm gonna jump right into it, show you what we got for the week and talk to you about it as we go along. So before we get too far into opening this box up, I do want to say thank you to Home Chef for sponsoring this video and supplying this box to me here for you guys to see as I unbox it. They were also kind enough to give me a discount code to provide for you guys, which is Lisa83. And what that is, is that will give you $20 off your first four boxes. Now those four boxes don't have to be four consecutive weeks. It can be one in November, one in January, and this is the highest discount that they have ever offered. Now I don't tend to order my boxes consecutively every week. I tend to order the boxes whenever I have a busy weekend or I have a busy week and I know I'm not gonna have enough time to think about what I'm cooking or if I had people in for the weekend or I was away for a weekend and I know I won't be able to get to the grocery store. This makes my life so much simpler. So let's get into unboxing it. So when you get the box, it shows up at your front door, fully sealed, and we are gonna pop right into this and take a look at what we have. It's actually kind of fun. Sometimes I forget what I actually got in the boxes. So when you first open up the box, it does have information um, inside. This is usually like little coupons for other things they have that are similar. Then when you get it, it actually has a styrofoam cover. You flip this open and then you've got all of the different products inside of it. So this came with interesting. So this must have just been a bonus. It's the Kodak cakes, the power cakes, uh, flapjack and waffle mix, the buttermilk one, it's the whole grain one. I have tried these before, but the actual packages themselves come in these little bags here. And then at the top, it actually has a label. This is the chicken Dijon, chicken with Dijon demi glaze. Um, information is right over here. These bags are perfect for actually putting the trash back into it as you're making recipes. So that is the first one. This one here is the pork shuma, shumami. I don't have a clue of how I'm saying that. Meatballs. And then we have the cheddar crusted chicken with everything in the bagel seasoning and green beans. This is one of the express kits and I love the express ones, especially like this week. Marty's gonna be away, so it gives me something quick and easy to throw in for myself. Cause you know when you're cooking for yourself, you never actually feel like putting the effort into cooking. These make it so much easier that if I just need a quick and easy meal, I don't have to do the prepping. Everything goes in the oven and it forces me to eat something that's better for me than just picking something up. Then the last one is the Kung Pao Shrimp Tacos. This is what these look like. And then all the way down in the bottom is a cardboard and ice packs. And then those are all of your proteins are down with these ice packs. So they are in a giant container like this. And so mine has, obviously, it's a Ziploc one. I keep them in the fridge in this. We've got my shrimp, which are peeled and deveined, and the tails are already off and they are raw. And then we have the ground pork, and then we have the chicken breast, so it comes pre-portioned. And then we have another chicken one. So I simply put this pack with all of the proteins into my meat drawer in my refrigerator. And then I put all of these little bags somewhere that it'll be easy for me to see, and I can just grab the one I need for whatever night we decide. So I did wanna take a second and talk to you guys a little bit about the different types of recipes that I chose this time. The first one is the chicken with Dijon Demi Glaze, and it's a creamy chive mushroom gnocchi. This one is from the Culinary Collection. So the Culinary Collection is a little bit more expensive. It is $11.95 per serving per person versus $9.95, which is their typical cost of their products. I do always get the meals for two people, even though there are three of us here in my family, because I will just add extra protein in for MJ, because he really doesn't eat a whole portion, so there's no reason to get a three-person or four-person one. The next one is the Kung Pao Shrimp Tacos, and that comes with a carrot and cucumber slaw. This is just a traditional $9.95 option that you can get. Then the pork shumami, shumami, I might be saying that right, I might not. 
<laughs> Meatballs, this one is actually a customer favorite. I have never tried this. I like to throw in a customer favorite because there is a reason why they are saying that people are loving this one. And I always end up finding out it's actually one that I love too. So I'm very excited to try this one. And the last one that I mentioned that I had already talked about was a Home Chef Express one. It is the cheddar crusted chicken with everything in the bagel seasoning and green beans. Um, and this is the quick and easy one and I'm good to go for a meal even if I'm by myself. So typically all of the meals I chose can be done and prepared in 30 minutes, except for the express, which takes about 15 minutes. And the great side about this is if you are somebody like we are, who we're like, what should we have for dinner tonight? We're trying to figure it out. These are amazing because we just order four meals and then we already have them here and we know just to make the choices of which one we want for each night and then it is 30 minutes. Guys, 30 minutes sounds like it might be a lot, but I'm telling you, think about ordering food. By the time you look through the menus, pick the place you're gonna go to, order the food and either have it delivered and picked up, it is way longer than 30 minutes, I guarantee you. Also, another great thing to note is all of these come with recipe cards and they are pre-punched, so you can put them into a binder and keep them for later. I reference back to these all of the time and I remake these. It's so easy and quick. And it's a great idea for meals when there's a week that you're not ordering this. You can pick up the items. It does give you a list of what is in your box. It gives you a list of how you can customize it on their website. And then it gives you the step-by-step -step directions on the back. They're also on the front in the bottom are all of the nutrition details down on the bottom part here. Very easy to follow, very simple, and just really great food. A quick tip I wanted to give you guys as far as cooking these recipes as well is anytime I know I'm cooking something that night. As an example, tonight I'm cooking the Kung Pao shrimp tacos with the carrot cucumber slaw. So I know that there are some items in this that I can prep ahead of time. The first couple things are that you have to trim the cucumber and then half it lengthwise to make it slim pieces. Then you have to peel and half the shallot. You have to juice the lime. So I am actually going to go ahead and prep the slaw ahead of time and take a look at anything else in the recipe that I can do ahead of time, which then after we're done, whatever the event is MJ has for the night, which tonight is swimming, then we can come home and the simple things are left. I'm done with the prep part. So it's kind of like the Home Express, but I have to do it ahead of time. It depends on what time you have, but that's a tip and trick that I use when using these different recipes. So if I know I'm going to be prepping things ahead of time, I'm not gonna cut the lime in half, but I am gonna have my juicer ready and sitting aside. So that one is already ready to go over there. Then I have my shallot, my cucumber, the carrot sticks I'm going to put into the bowl because I know that this is all gonna be going into a bowl together. So I'm going to Anything I am prepping also ahead of time that needs to still be refrigerated, obviously like this, I'm going to put into a bowl and then I'm going to prep it and put it back into the fridge so it's already ready to go. The bok choy that needs to be trimmed up is going to go in a bowl as well, but it's just going to go into the fridge. This I'm going to fully make. So we're going to set the bok choy aside and then I'm going to take this, I'm going to chop the ends, get rid of those, and then slice it in half. And then I'm just gonna do little slices. The slaw is already ready to go. This is gonna go in the fridge and be prepped and ready. Now I'm gonna take care of the bok choy and the shallot. So now I have my bok choy and my shallot ready to go as well. They're going in the fridge. The kong pao sauce and the fajita shells are ready to go. So by prepping all of that, I have made it so my possibly 30 minute meal is now only going to be about a 15 minute meal to get ready. Always remember also by using the bags and putting your trash in there, it is an easy way to dispose of the trash. When you're done cooking, it just goes straight to the trash can. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I made this week with the Home Chef delivery service. It was fun unboxing one of these. I don't think I've ever actually done that on camera and then shown you what I made through them. And don't forget, they were kind enough to supply a discount code for you guys to give you $80 off your first four orders, which is $20 off each box. And that code is Lisa 80 free. And as always guys, if you are enjoying these style of unboxing videos, I will link one right here. And I also always do different style videos. So I'll put one over here. And as always, if you are not yet subscribed and following along here, I would love if you clicked the photo of me right here and followed along on my channel. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day. Bye.